Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Greetings, everyone. I am going to be revisiting a childhood movie called The Goonies. What can you say about The Goonies? If you don't know about this movie made in 1985, I don't know what to say. This movie is such a fun adventure. Part of my childhood is directed by Richard Donner. Produced by Steven Spielberg. It's just, you can't get any better. It stars lots of people, just a whole slew of kids, Sean Astin, Josh Brolin, Corey Feldman. It's one of those movies that just doesn't leave you. It's so good, it holds up till, till this day. It's got everything you want, and that time when you watch it, that, uh, you know, I'm 13, 14 when it comes out, and it's just a wow impact on your life. From the time I was putting uh, fake mannequin type uh, things in the bed to dress it up and sneaking out the fire escape, going around roof climbing and going on adventures. This movie just excited the imagination. It was such a joy and so much fun. You can watch it all the time. It's got a crazy story. It's got that treasure hunt feel. You'll never get tired of it. The whole plot, just, you know, they're trying to take the kids home away from them. And they, by chance, find this map and decide, oh, they're going to go looking for treasure. It's just insane from the quote-unquote villains of the movie and the unsung hero. Um, just everything you can imagine from creating your own booby traps and figuring out puzzles. The cast is amazing together. There's some awesome scenes that are forever embedded in pop culture from this movie. Just on every level, an amazing movie. If people haven't watched it, just watch this movie. It captures such a part of the history of time. Uh, just everything about it. You can look into the makings of uh, ingenuity. It's just the way it all came together. The um, creators, the just the atmosphere itself, the time frame of the movie, the soundtrack, everything just comes together in this fun ride that has the perfect amount of balance between comedy, zaniness, and just breathtaking at the time, special effects, and you get into these predicaments when you're a kid and you're in that era, and they all seem like these huge, huge problems. And I think the movie encapsulates that wanderlust, that sense of adventure as a kid. The older brothers, the older kids, it all related to me in a, in a way that still impacts me. Every time you're with you, my brother's a little older, he's like a year and a half older, so his friends were a year and a half older. And then it's meeting the teenagers at the time when they're in the park and you're, you know, nine, ten years old and you're becoming a teenager or me particularly when this came out, like I said, I'm about 14 and it's just, you relate to it so much on so many levels. I think most kids could say there's been that part of them. I don't know how today is when you think about um, the fact that I can't remember the last time in 10 years there were kids in the streets on Halloween. It's usually on the storefronts now, not down the side blocks. This general feeling of you can't leave your kids out alone when I was sneaking out in the middle of the night, going into the park, 
we had once watched these uh, teenagers um, hanging out in the park and they buried something by a tree. And me and my friend at the time, <laughs> well, we're like eight years old. So this is before the Goonies, by the way. And they're all hanging out. I guess they were drinking and smoking weed and doing their thing. But we snuck while they were hanging out to the tree and stole this little box. I don't know. It would be more like saying it was a little tiny toolbox. I don't know, about eight inches by five, a little thin. We get away with it. We run with it. We get back. We pop it open, and there's drugs. There's pills, weed, coke, a bunch of shit in there. I guess they were selling stuff or something. But it just gives you that feeling, you know. There's an age today where everybody is um, overprotective. They're being watched, you know. And I'm all for that. Uh, I know we live in a different time. But there are people out there who go through life and they're, you're on the streets and it's not totally to blame for your family or the people who loved you. It's just where you live, the environment, the, the kids you meet. And this movie just really impacts that time where, for me, it was about exploring and adventure and like I said for some it might it's you know it's tough you're on the streets things are happening you get caught up in these things and sometimes you think oh um, how did I survive this you know I'm here you know I've been through all this turmoil and tragedy in my life and when you look back it's the spirit of this movies like this that I can really relate to as a child and a, a kid becoming a teenager, seeing it from both sides, like I said, from the cast, you've got a blend of really young kids, and then they put in the older brother, and then some older kids here and there, and then you got the villains who are the adults, it just works on so many levels, it really touches me deeply as a movie that is um, forever lasting, it just doesn't get old in any way for me I guess it's you know you didn't really need super special effects but they're like booby traps to use a quote from the movie um, and you know uh, this Indiana Jones ish adventure quest and just on so many levels this movie is amazing to me I can't believe I'll say I recommend this because if everybody doesn't know about this I mean come on the Goonies uh, from 1985 watch it and surprise this thing didn't spawn a whole bunch of uh, sequels but maybe it has to do with the actors I'm going to do a podcast on the Monster Squad because that was another movie that I really love because I'm a huge fan of the Universal Monsters and I'll do that but The Goonies Amazing movie, it holds up, stands the test of time, fun adventure, just at the time of my uh, teenage years, and just don't know what to say, uh, from everything, from uh, critical response to uh, box office at the time, it's longevity, just movies just, just amazing on a lot of levels. Give it a try. If you haven't seen this fucking movie, I don't know what to say. The Goonies. All right, everybody. Go watch The Goonies. I'll see everybody next time. Bye-bye.